So some of you might have come across this video where I upgraded my girlfriend's desk setup. She uses this desk both for work but also for sewing, so ideally the tech doesn't occupy the whole desk and leaves room for fabric, sewing machines and halfway done projects. In that previous video, we replaced the top, added a new monitor, an LED strip, nice peripherals and a few other things. It was a good start, but I've had other ideas since this video was released, so that's what we'll do in today's video. Let's have a look. So going over what wasn't ideal about this setup, my girlfriend actually has two laptops, one for work and the other for personal use. Having both on the desk at the same time takes a bit of space. The wrist rest was also a little rough, the keyboard was a bit too bright for my girlfriend's taste, and she wanted to try something slightly more low profile. And finally, this 24-inch Xiaomi monitor was a tad small. Having a 1080p resolution is also limiting in terms of screen real estate, but the worst part is that the stand isn't height adjustable, and the panel doesn't have a visa mount, so we resorted to using this little monitor riser, but if you ask me, it doesn't look too great. So speaking of monitors, this is where our first upgrade starts. BenQ were kind enough to send over their EW3280U 32-inch 4K IPS monitor for this exact video, a massive upgrade that'll be great both for productivity and also entertainment. BenQ also has a 27-inch version of this monitor, but I like the pixel density you get with a 4K resolution on a 32-inch panel. My girlfriend likes to watch Netflix on her laptop, so that'll be pretty nice for that as well. It features 10-bit colors, with a brightness that can go up to 400 nits when HDRI is enabled, more on that later. In terms of ports, it has one display port, one USB-C, two HDMI and a headphone jack. Here the USB-C port is meant to transfer a 4K 60Hz video signal, but can also charge laptops up to 60 watts. The built-in stand is mostly metal and features a cable management section at the back, pretty neat. There is also a hidden visa mount at the back to mount the monitor on an arm or to the wall. One of the great features with this monitor is the built-in speakers, it even has a 5W subwoofer at the back. Don't expect a super loud and full sound, but it's definitely better than any monitor I've tried before. There's even a volume wheel at the bottom left of the monitor, which is quite handy for volume adjustments on the fly. At full volume, it starts to distort, but 45 or less sounds pretty good. This monitor features the HDRI technology, which is a combination of HDR support on the monitor and a light sensor. With the light info it gathers, the monitor adjusts the brightness and contrast automatically based on the room's light. Pretty cool feature, especially as a monitor for work, where you'll get the optimal viewing experience throughout the day. This monitor also has BenQ's eye care technology, where you get a low blue light mode and less light flickering than regular monitors. Overall, the image quality is really great, and my girlfriend loves the screen real estate she got from switching to a 32-inch 4K panel. The con I see with this monitor is the stand, while it's stable and does the job, it's not height adjustable, so next upgrade will be to use a third-party monitor arm to get it at a proper height without a monitor riser. So this monitor arm came from Banggood, I went with this model because it has two arms, one for a monitor and the other for a laptop. So I went ahead and installed it, the base is really solid with two clamps, then it's pretty straightforward to add the locking rings to set the desired height for both arms. It features a quick release system that swivels horizontally at the end of the arms, and it makes it easy to install and remove the monitor with it. It has no spring-loaded arm sections, so the height cannot be adjusted on the fly, but they can be moved horizontally very easily. I really like the laptop rack as it clamps onto the laptop for a secure fit and it doesn't rotate like most Visa arms do. So you don't end up with your laptop falling because the plate flipped upside down. It's super easy to remove the laptop when needed, but still feels secure when the laptop is installed. In terms of weight capacity, it can hold up to 8kg per arm and this BenQ monitor is around that weight. Over time, it was tilting forward a bit, so I decided to buy a dedicated arm for the monitor to prevent accidents. It's a really great arm for a laptop plus monitor setup and it looks nice, but I would only recommend it for monitors up to 27 inches I think, because I didn't feel 100% safe to leave it like that. 
So for this other arm, I went with a simple single pole design with no arms for maximum stability. This one supports up to 10 kilograms, so we're good. And it's definitely more solid given its design. Although it doesn't look as good as it did with the two individual poles. Now, in terms of cables for the laptop setup, a simple solution is to use the monitor's Type-C cable for charging and video, and then another Type-C hub for USB peripherals. Another option would be to use a dedicated USB-C to HDMI 2.0 cable. That would be a great solution if the monitor didn't have a Type-C port. However, for a clean and simple one cable solution, I decided to go with this A-Logic Thunderbolt 3 hub. This hub comes in a really nice looking box and it comes with multiple plug types, so it should work in most countries. It has a full size USB 3 port and headset port at the front, and then at the back we get Ethernet, two other USB ports, two Type-C ports, and two display ports for up to two 4K monitors at 60Hz. A really nice port selection. The build quality is outstanding with a space gray aluminum enclosure and it's solid. It can power laptops at up to 60 watts and it also works over USB-C, although with reduced monitor resolutions and USB speeds. In the future, I will probably buy a longer Thunderbolt 3 cable for an even cleaner look with this hub and the cable management tray under the desk. As for my girlfriend's personal laptop, I added this vertical stand so that it doesn't take space on her desk. It's connected to the monitor over HDMI and charged with an Apple MagSafe power adapter. Her peripherals are all Bluetooth compatible, so it's just a matter of switching the host device and the monitor's video input to control this laptop without even opening the lid. In terms of headphones, my girlfriend was using cheap wireless earbuds from Baseuse, but the main issue was that they didn't always pair well. We upgraded her to AirPod Pros, and given that she's in the Apple ecosystem, they're quite amazing earbuds for her. She also uses the built-in mics for video conferencing, which works decently well at cancelling background noise. My girlfriend already had a desk lamp with a built-in wireless charger, so that's quite handy since the AirPod Pro's case does support wireless charging. But for an even better wireless charging setup, I added this A-Logic 3-in-1 wireless charger. Again, it comes in a super sleek box, really nice branding, and then you're welcome with this heavy and premium wireless charger. It uses a Type-C port for power, and then it has a full-size USB port to charge a wired device, and offers a large surface area where you can charge two devices at once, like AirPods and a phone. It looks super nice and the materials are high quality, definitely a product I can recommend, and even in terms of the brand, I was happily surprised with the look and finish of both products they sent over for this video. In terms of peripherals, we're keeping the large mousepad with this little blue mountain design, as well as the Logitech MX Anywhere 2S. The new MX Anywhere 3 would be nice with the Type-C charging port, but not really worth upgrading given that this 2S still works very well. What's changing is the keyboard, where we're going with the Keychron K1 V4. I'll have a full review of this keyboard eventually, but the main reason we're going with this one is its low profile, great Mac support, and the fact that it's Bluetooth enabled. Here, Bluetooth is a great part of the reason why, since this setup houses two separate computers and I didn't manage to get my hand on a KVM switch in time, being able to switch between computers by just reconnecting peripherals to the computer in use is a better experience than having to reconnect a bunch of wires here and there. She has been using this new Keychron K1 V4 for a few days and really likes it as of now. Then we also added this Logitech C922 webcam on top of the monitor, an old but pretty decent webcam for the money. I also replaced the pace use monitor lamp we originally had with this Xiaomi one. It is more expensive, but it's a much better lamp. I have used BenQ screen bar for a while and it's great. The quality of the light is very good and the adjustments in color and intensity are precise but this Xiaomi variant is also very good. First, it uses USB-C, then the mounting bracket is very heavy and well-made, although it won't accommodate thicker monitors. The lamp connects magnetically, making it very easy to clean or temporarily remove. It also has rails to adjust the angle. It uses a wireless puck to control the intensity, color, and power of the light, which looks really nice on the desk in my opinion. The quality of the light it produces is great and well diffused, it lights up the whole work surface and makes a major difference. It is very close to my BenQ screen bar in terms of overall light quality, although keep in mind I have the very first generation of this model, so newer variants might be better. Oh and also, I've read a lot of comments where people think having a light close to a monitor like that causes glare, but it really doesn't. Because of the angle with the monitor, the light only reflects down in direction of the desktop, not your eyes. 
And before ending this video, here are other accessories we added to make the room feel more like a proper office. We added this Blitzwolf oil diffuser on our media unit. We've had a bunch of smaller diffusers for years and really liked using them with essential oils, but the largest we own had a capacity of 300 milliliters, while this new and bigger one can hold up to 2.5 liters of water. It also diffuses a larger volume of mist per hour, so whatever smell we had fills up the room more than ever. We're happy with it. The the only downside is that the cable is fixed, so we need to use a watering can to fill it up, and the plug wasn't US standard, but it came with an adapter, so I guess it's fine. And then, to add a little touch, I bought a huge bean bag from Fatboy. As we both work from home, it's cool to change it up sometimes and sit in that unconventional chair. It also adds a bit of color to an otherwise very basic all-white room. The quality is really great, and the bag is huge. So, in conclusion, another major upgrade to my girlfriend's setup that has a lot of positive impact for her work as a product manager, but also for her passion for sewing. The monitor definitely helps with productivity, and a setup with monitor and laptop arms gives her back a lot of desk space and looks pretty good in my opinion. Let me know what you think down below. So that wraps it up for today. As always, I'll have affiliate links to all the items I use in the description down below. Feel free to use them if you're interested and want to support the channel at the same time. So thanks for watching, make sure you leave a like if you did, and don't forget to subscribe if you haven't already, as I'll see you in a future video.